guys i am back and so i have triple d's march um diva box and so we're going to go ahead and get into this box i've already opened it of course and so it comes with a cuticle oil this uh scent is spring vibes i'm not sure how i feel about it. i don't know if i really like it um it's just mm -mm. and then we have some paper decals they look like daisies and so i have yet to use like paper decals in my mani I'm, i think i'm a little afraid <laughs> and then we have a cuticle um tool here with a little uh sanding pads to get around your cuticle area some 3d or 5d water slide decals they're embossed um and so they're kind of raised and you can feel it through the paper that they're raised some acrylic paint pens this is the second time these come in the diva box i gave my first set away because i didn't know how to use them and i don't know if i'm going to give this set away either um i gave it away to somebody at work and so we have their uh buffing block with the triple d logo and then we have five dip powders and i've already swatched them via a swatch dot and glued that to the top of the lid and so we have diva dip 124 which is a nice pink foil flake it's kind of hard to glare from my camera i believe it has like little iridescent uh like flaky foil like pieces in it really really pretty color and i think i end up using that color as well in this particular mani we have diva dip 125 i'm just trying to move my light out the way because i was like "Ooh, this is glary um which is like a teal mint green um diva dip 126 which is a pink a really light pink really pretty um i need to get some shading uh things for my recording and then diva dip 127 which is like a pastel blue and then spring vibes which is a temp changer and so when i open this i was like hold up i think i got some more colors like this like triple d you playing with me but they're not playing with me that's my eyes and so i had to go into my drawer with in my container with my diva dips and because those this is the one dip powder company that i have just about all the colors swatched and i was like i think i got some colors similar to that and so here i pulled out diva dip 88 and 95 they're close but they are definitely not the same so all of those are different you probably could get a good little ombre set I have colors one is a temp changer probably could get a nice ombre and dvd 89 has like sparkle or like shimmer to it so they were not the same so i was tripping and so then i have other diva dips that are in the pink family those are clearly very different and those are not even all of the pinks that i have because i get most of my dips from triple d via a diva box um why not i mean you know and so here are all the dips that i have from uh triple d i just keep them in this little container in my drawer and so i was just kind of looking like hmm where are all the pinks in here and so i was just pulling those out just doing a comparison because again i was like i already got these colors i don't they're not the same colors they are all different i probably could do a nice ombre set with that as well do some barbie nails because the pink is pinking the pink is pinking i'm here for it and so i decided to use three colors from the box plus diva dip 65 i do have on some full coverage nail tips that i have glued on um of course i have peel off base coat underneath and then um i glued those on and i need to get a better process because i think that the nails have um the glue has set and then i release it my finger from the nail and then it just kind of gets air bubbles all in there i gotta work on that but i do like full coverage nail tips because it gives you a nice uniform look and so i am using triple d's delicate dip base um again no odor equals a slower drying time and i'm doing the pour over method here i do like pouring the dip powder over the nail that's just my personal preference you can lay your finger flat but you'll notice i think it's on my either the thumbnail or the index finger where i put where whichever nail i put blue i decided to lay my finger flat and the dip powder I pressed it down too much in the dip powder because the dip base moved on the nail and it got a little bulky on the sides and I had to kind of fold that in and press my finger down to make it lay flat um, and you'll see it coming up um, you can these nails weren't too long to the point where I couldn't um, lay my finger flat in the jar but I had to pour some out to do that I'm just using an orange wood st stick to clean up um, the cuticle area not an orange wood stick a precision tool to clean that up I just do one coat of this color on this nail because it is a neutral color and i am going to be using a water slide decal to put on top of that and so here is where with the blue in the diva box that i will be um 
accidentally press my finger too flat in the dip powder. So if you're the person that wants to lay your finger flat in the dip powder, you want to do that lightly because it will move that dip base around that's on the nail, especially if you put too much dip base on your nail, which is what I think I did here. Um, and so I'll do two coats of color to each nail. You can see kind of where I'm pushing it the dip base and the dip powder back in place so that I don't lose the shape of the nail too much but it did get under the uh, sidewall and free edge of the nail and I had to end up um, scooping that out and scooping that off um, if that makes any kind of sense.
I get two coats of color on all the nails. I thought they were pretty. Again, this gives me gender reveal vibes. Um, I'm going in with Triple D's Clear and I'm using a salt spoon to pour over the clear dip powder. So I'm applying a layer of base to that nail. And the reason why you want to encapsulate, you can encapsulate all of the nails if you want to, but you really want to encapsulate when you have a dip powder with uh, glitter or foil flakes because failure to encapsulate and clear could result in the gl the, glitter, the glitter or the um, foil flakes turning colors during the fouling and buffing process. And so I'm just using a salt spoon. You can use whatever. You can pour over, lay your finger flat. The choice is yours. And so I'm just pouring that over the nail and then I wait a few seconds and then I brush off um, excess uh, dip powder and so um I'm just removing excess dip powder from all of the nails and then I'm going to go in and apply um, a generous amount amount a generous amount of activator to all nails this is what will harm the dip powder and then I will do my fouling and buffing off camera So here are my nails after fouling and buffing. I'm going in with Cherry Blossoms Blooming from Ooh Coco Decals. And there's a little decal in here. Um, the first one, I'm gonna cut that out and spray it with water. Well, while I wait for the decal to be released, I'm going in with Maniology Sticky Base Coat and I'm going to apply that to the entire nail on my middle finger. Because when I place that decal down, it needs something to stick to. And so I'll wait a few seconds and then um, for that, give that time to get tacky, remove excess water from the decal. Now my stamper, I used it in a previous video, I think it had gel polish still on it, um, from where I used it in a previous video and I forgot to take a lint roller and, and take that off. And so I just decided to just pick the decal up with my hand, um, slide that paper off and then place it on the nail. Once I get it on the nail, you know, I'm stretching it out, but not too much because you don't want to rip the decal. I'm then going to take um, the silicone tool and smooth that out to the best of my ability. I then go in with, um, I forget what those little sticks are called, but it has like a little kind of foamy like piece on the end. I'm going to dip that in acetone and kind of seal the cuticle area and side walls of the nail. And then I'll go in with the nail brush and alcohol and clean that up some more. And so uh, after that, I do apply, um, I'm cutting off excess first because that's just the easiest. Cut off excess first and then you can go in and clean up any uh, excess decal on the side walls and cuticle area. And I do believe I encapsulate this nail in base coat and cure and then top coat and cure. So just to add some extraness to these nails, I go in with McCart, I thought I had pressed record, but I didn't. I go in with McCart rhinestone glue gel and to each nail, I only show one on camera, I apply cuticle rhinestones just to kind of give the mani something, just a little bit extra because I'm not that good with designs and all that good stuff. And so I'm just applying that to the cuticle area um, and also to cover up any type of imperfections in the cuticle area as well. And so I got some AB uh, rhinestones from Amazon um, that I'm going to apply to the cuticle area and then I'll cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp.
I get all of the nails with the rhinestones, I'm going in with Kenny or Kanai, I don't know how you say this. Um, it is a HEMA free gel polish I found on Amazon. I'm going in with the top coat and applying a layer of that to all nails, making sure to cap the free edge. I do believe I end up capping the free edge um, of all nails. And then I'll cure for 60 seconds in um, my LED lamp. So here are the nails, nice and shiny. I thought they were super, super cute. And so you want to apply your favorite cuticle oil and massage that in, which I've already done that. I just need to massage that in. So guys, please like this video if you found value. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe to my channel. It is free 99. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.